Opel Combo is less common than its competitors. Is this car really of little use in our conditions? And in general, what is good and bad about it? Unlike most competitors, Opel Combo is not an independent model, but built on the platform of a B-Class car, Corsa. From this car, our Pi borrowed many body parts and most of the components and assemblies. True, compared to the sister Combo, it is noticeably larger and outperformed many competitors in terms of overall length and wheelbase. This allowed the creators to tailor a very roomy cargo compartment, the maximum volume of which is 3,050 liters. And this is one of the main indicators for cars of this class. Like all other pies, combos are intended mainly for commercial purposes, although the cars are available in two versions, cargo and passenger and freight. All passenger and freight combo tours are five-seater and their rear doors can be either lifting, in more expensive modifications, or hinged, in cheaper ones, and trucks were equipped with only hinged doors. Side sliding doors for both trucks and passengers are located on both the right and left, although side doors could not be installed at all on the simplest cargo versions. Combo tour prior to modernization in 2004 are distinguished by a front bumper with a solid air intake and a black grille. Officially, we sell both cargo and passenger and freight versions. Among the cars imported from abroad, there are often those that have already been converted from trucks into passenger ones in Ukraine. The fact is that customs clearance of trucks is cheaper than distillers use. You can determine what the car was originally by the VIN code, in the cargo version in the 8th and 9th positions, the number 25, and in the passenger version, 06. The danger of the turn versions is that the alterations can be performed poorly and this reduces the passive safety of the car. Weak spots. When buying a combo, experts advise you to carefully inspect the rear doors. The weak point of the lift gate is the shock absorbers, which can be worn out on older machines. However, they do not lift or hold the door in the open position. There are other problems with swing doors. Over time, their locks break, which is why they begin to knock very unpleasantly on bumps. For a while, this problem can be solved by adjusting the locks but if the knock becomes too annoying, the locks will have to be changed. By the way, similar problems with the rear doors are typical for many other pies. Corrosion is not terrible for this car. The combo body, like that of the sister Corsa, C, is completely galvanized. Rust can appear only in those places where the protective zinc layer has been removed as a result of mechanical damage. The only thing that requires regular maintenance is the mounting screw of the spare tire suspension located outside the car under the boot floor. If it is not lubricated, after several years of operation, the screw will rust, and it is not always possible to remove the spare wheel. The central pillars of the rear swing doors block the rear view. Interior finishing materials are of low quality. Over time, the plastic loosens up and begins to annoy with squeaks. Quite often door cards depart. The basic 1.4 liter modification, officially sold in Ukraine, is rather poorly equipped, it doesn't even have such little things as central locking, electric front windows and a passenger airbag. Versions imported from abroad are much better equipped. The range of powertrains designed for the combo is not particularly wide. Officially, cars equipped with only two engines were sold, a 1.4-liter gasoline and a 1.7-liter turbo diesel. Moreover, according to the specialists of the branded service station, most often they buy new cars with gasoline engines and used combos imported from abroad are usually equipped with turbo diesel units. Rarely there are 1.6 liter gasoline modifications and 1.3 liter turbo diesel, and, again, both of them are foreign guests. The timing of the 1.4 liter twin port gasoline engine is equipped with a metal chain. However, do not rely on the fact that the chain drive does not need maintenance. After 50 to 60,000 kilometers, the chain tensioner may become unusable which is manifested by increased noise of the unit, branded spare part, 285 UAH. According to operating experience, the timing chain lasts about 100,000 kilometers, and then it is advisable to replace it together with gears, a damper and a tensioner, a set of spare parts will cost approximately 1100 UAH. Another characteristic problem of the 1.4 liter unit is the loosening of the fastening of the damper of the system for changing the length of the intake manifold. The malfunction is manifested by a characteristic metallic ringing when the motor is running. At the same time, it is important to turn to specialists in time, otherwise the damper mounting screws can completely unwind and get into the cylinders, which will result in a serious engine repair.
Restoration of this system at a branded service station will cost about 1500 UAH. In the timing of the 1.6 liter gasoline and 1.7 liter turbo diesel engines, a toothed belt is used. It must be changed every 60,000 kilometers along with two bypass and tension rollers, a set of spare parts, 630 UAH. In addition, during this procedure, it is desirable to install a new pump, which, in operating experience, rarely withstands two belt life. And the failure of the water pump ends with the meeting of the valves with the pistons. All engines use so-called ignition modules that replace the traditional coil and distributor. If the candles are not replaced in time, there is a risk to disable this expensive part. Working with dirty, worn-out candles increases the load on the module, spare part, $260. In all gasoline engines, the throttle valve channel becomes dirty over time, which prevents its normal functioning. The malfunction is manifested by unstable operation of the engine, failures during acceleration, cleaning, 250 UAH. In addition, the failure of the exhaust gas recirculation valves, UAH 708, was noted. The operation of gasoline units on low-quality fuel leads to the formation of soot on the valves, which ends with the repair of the cylinder head. Turbo diesel engines with a volume of 1.7 liters are characterized by increased oil consumption. When purchasing this version, it is worth knowing that many branded service stations do not always take on the repair of these motors and send the owners of such machines to specialized stations that repair diesel units. All combos were front-wheel drive only and were equipped with only 5-speed manual gearboxes. According to operating experience, these units do not cause serious problems. Even the lubrication in them is designed for the entire service life. Although after purchasing a used car, service workers still recommend changing the oil in the gearbox. Age-related problems of the mechanics, in cars with a mileage of 100 to 150,000 kilometers, the bushing and the finger of the gearshift lever wear out, which leads to increased backlash of the gearshift lever and fuzzy switching, labor and spare parts, about 300 UAH. In addition, semi-axle seals may leak. In the running combo, like the Corsa, C, traditional McPherson struts are used in front, and a semi-independent torsion beam in the back. The front suspension and steering gear are mounted on a subframe to reduce vibrations. The rear suspension of the Pi is reinforced, stronger shock absorbers and silent blocks of the beam are installed. Compared to some competitors, the combo's running gear is stiffer. Every 30,000 kilometers on our roads you will have to change the bushings of the anti-roll bar, original spare part, 1 PC. $4. Stabilizer struts go longer. 40 to 50,000 kilometers, one piece, 20 UAH. Support pads and bearings of the front struts can withstand a run of 70 to 80,000 kilometers. The most loaded vertical silent blocks of the front levers, 80 to 100,000 kilometers, one piece, 88 UAH, and ball bearings, 100 to 120,000 km, one piece, 216 UAH. Even with the active use of the Pi, for its intended purpose, the silent blocks of the rear semi-independent beam can last up to 100 to 150,000 kilometers, but the springs often cannot withstand overloads, the coils break in them. Most combos use electric power steering, which changes the amount of boost depending on the speed. The rail is subject to wear, which is manifested by knocking when driving over bumps, as well as when the steering wheel is rotated. The rail is non-separable, but we have learned how to restore it work with spare parts will cost approximately 1200 UAH. Tie rods walk 60 to 80,000 kilometers. In the brake system, front, discs, rear, drums, sometimes malfunctions of the brake force regulator occur, while the wheels of the rear axle do not brake. The problem is solved by replacing the regulator. Perhaps the Opel combo is not so popular because of the narrow interior and the small, traveling, size of the trunk or maybe because of the simple equipment of many versions and the low quality of interior trim. Indeed, in reliability, the German does not lose to classmates. In this case, the more affordable cost of the car itself, its spare parts and maintenance attracts. It is better to beware of truck versions that served in firms. As a rule, cars with high mileage are put up for sale when many components and assemblies need to be repaired. It is better to find a copy that belonged to a caring, private trader.